Okay, now that we know how to create our solids, I'm going to go over a quick, quick way to show us how to manipulate some of our solids. So to begin, we're just going to create uh, one of these squares here. Now that is in wireframe mode. I'm going to do a quick zoom extent on all the ports as well as a solid, <clears throat> sorry, a shaded viewport change just so we can see it. And I'm going to go ahead and make just another square like this, around the same size. That's a little bit bigger, but it's okay. And in the top view here, I'm just gonna drag it so that it overlaps, and maybe we want it to be a little bit higher. Okay, now focusing on just the perspective here, what if we want these two shapes to kind of merge together into one shape? We just wanna cut out the middle here so that it's not super messy. Well, we can use the Boolean union tool. So we're gonna type it in here. Boolean union, hit enter. It's going to ask us for the different surfaces or poly surfaces that we want to union. And in this case, it's just these two squares. So we can select the first one and then the second one. We're just going to hit enter. Now, if you have more than two, you have like three or four or five, you're going to want to select all of them so that everything combines together uh, to one single poly surface. Okay, now that you see uh, what Rhino basically did is create these edge lines now. So now there's these edges. If I go ahead and explode this, we can see that if I delete that surface, Rhino has basically merged the two solids together into this new form. So this new poly surface is made and everything in the middle here is cut to make this new poly surface here. We have the different edges all cut out for us. So that is the Boolean union command. Now I'm going to undo really quickly just so we have two of these once again. Okay, now what if we want to say cut this the shape of this square from this square where do they overlap? So again, that is this section right here that we want to cut out from the square on the bottom. Well, we can use the opposite of boolean union, which is boolean difference. So I'm just going to type that in really quickly, boolean difference. Again, it's going to ask us a surface to subtract from, and that's the one we want to actually cut. So we're going to select the, the square that we want to cut from, and I'm going to press enter. Then it's going to ask us for a surface to subtract with. Uh, now this is the object that we want to subtract it with, uh, but we can see that delete input is on no, which means it'll simply make a copy. For this demonstration, I'm going to change it to yes which means it will delete this other square up top. Uh, so I'm going to hit enter. Oh, sorry, I didn't even select the uh, square. I'm going to do that one more time. I'm going to hit enter. And change that to yes. Hit enter. As you can see here, it's basically carved out the upper square from the lower square. Uh, now, you just saw what happened when I did not have delete input or had delete and put on yes. That basically means that it'll just make a copy of this. So if I do this one more time, oh, sorry, uh, no. If I do that one more time, so subtract from this, and then subtract the second one, we're gonna do delete and put to no. I'm gonna select this part and just gonna hit enter. What's gonna do is create this, but it's not gonna delete it. So we still have our object in the bottom, but it's going to keep the original uh, shape on the top, which is really useful for some situations. Uh, other situations, you want to keep this checked off. All right, so those are two different ways, uh, really, really simple ways, how we can manipulate solids to combine and subtract them. And yeah, so after this, we'll probably move on and start building something with everything that we learned.